This is the Zeppelin Bend. It is a general purpose joining knot used to join together two ends of a separate rope. It is a simple knot to execute and also very reliable. Let's check out some of its practical uses and then let's proceed to check how strong and reliable the knot is. Let us then see if we can easily undo the knot or if it will jam. If you are setting up a clothesline and your rope falls short, you can extend the rope by joining another rope using the zeppelin bend. Unlike other joining knots, the zeppelin bend does not require a substantial amount of cord line to execute. You can easily execute it using a short end of the cord line. You only require about 5 to 6 inches of end rope to execute the knot. Unlike other joining knots which require 12 to 16 inches. Once you join the ropes together and tension is applied, the ropes are as good as one. The more pressure you apply, the stronger the knot becomes. Let's check it out by adding some load on the clothesline. You can also use this when you're out camping and your ridge line falls short before reaching the anchor point. Let us now go check out how strong the knot is. We will do our usual weight test. The yellow rope above is attached to the tree branch. The blue rope beneath the yellow rope is attached to the yellow rope using the zeppelin bend. We will then apply our entire weight on the blue rope below. But wait, let's add some more. We made a Prusik knot using the zeppelin bend. So we will be hitting two birds in one stone. We will be testing two zeppelin bends in one test. The zeppelin bend joining the yellow rope to the blue rope and the zeppelin bend holding the Prusik knot. We will then attach this foot stirrup to the Prusik knot that we wrap around the blue rope. We will then step on this foot stirrup, thus putting our entire body weight on the Prusik knot and the blue rope connected to the yellow rope. There you go. Let's just check that everything is connected properly. And here we go. And there you have it. We are now swinging on the rope. The Prusik loop is holding and the blue rope connected to the yellow rope is likewise holding. So the two Zeppelin bends did not collapse under the weight. That is 200 pounds swinging. Let us now check if we can easily undo the bend or if the knot has jammed and we might have to result in cutting off the rope. We'll first remove the Prusik loop and then undo the knot. Okay, here it goes. We just need to move it back and forth to loosen the knot. And there, the knot is loosening up. There you have it. We are able to untie the knot. It did not jam in spite of 200 pounds swinging around. Let's now go check if the blue rope attached to the yellow rope will also easily be undone. We'll just move it back and forth and shake it about and there it is loosening up. And there it is loose enough that we can undo the knot. There you have it. It did not jam. The knot can easily be undone. So how do you tie the zeppelin bend? We have two ropes here. The black rope on top and the white rope below. On the black rope on top, form a number 6 with the running end on top of the standing end. 
Again, a number 6 with the running end on top of the standing end. With the white rope below, form a number 9 with the running end beneath the standing end. Again, a number 9 with the running end beneath the standing end. Now place the number 6 on top of the number 9. Now get the running end of the black rope and run it through the loop formed by the white rope and the black rope. Now get the running end of the white rope and run it around the loop formed by the black rope and the white rope. Now pull the two ends together. Dress the knot properly. And there we have the Zeppelin bend. And it looks something like this. It is symmetrical on both sides. It will generally hold together if left without tension. But with some materials, when a little shaking is applied, it might come loose. So let's tie it again using the other end of the ropes. Again, we'll put the black rope on top and the white rope on the bottom. And then... We will form a number 6 with the black rope on top. Again, the running end is above the standing end. And with the white rope below, we will form a number 9 with the running end beneath the standing end. Now we will put the number 6 on top of the number 9. And then we will get the end of the black rope and run it through the loop formed by the black and the white rope. Now we will get the running end of the white rope and likewise put it through the loop formed by the black rope and the white rope. Now pull the ends together and dress the knot properly. With materials such as paracords, they will not loosen when you shake it or move it about but with materials such as nylon cords they might come loose when you shake it about and move it around here is a sample of a nylon cord by moving it around and pushing it back and forth it easily comes loose so understand first your application before deciding if you will use the zeppelin bend or another form of joining knot which will not come loose when being moved. Do hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you will be informed of my next uploads. Do comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as I can. And until our next upload, this is your host saying... Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching.